Have you ever spent hours manually labeling polygons in AutoCAD? What if I told you there is a smarter way? Today, I am going to show you how to automate the task of labeling areas and parameters in AutoCAD using Python. But I do not know how to code in Python. Well, this is not a reason for you to ignore this video. You do not need to know coding at this point. What? How? ChatGPT, it's a free to use AI system, a tool that can be used to get help in generating codes, including Python codes. In ChatGPT, I have put, please can you provide a Python code to calculate the area and parameters of AutoCAD polygons. I want the area and parameters being labeled by a text located in the centroid. So as you can see, we have got code, a Python code that would do the job and some instructions how we can use that Python code. Copy the code and head to the code editor. I chose Visual Studio. It's easy to use and free. Paste the code there. I can see that shapely.geometry is a library that is not defined because it's underlined. In the terminal, type in pip install shapely, enter, and it should install that library for you. The same thing, if you don't have EasyDXF, you can type in pip install EasyDXF and it shall install it as well. Now we need the AutoCAD DXF file that would contain the polygons and we need to define the path for that file as an input. This is before having the labels for the area and parameters. And we need to define the output file where we need to have the final DXF file which will contain the labels after processing. Now in AutoCAD, I will just create an example, just random polygons and we'll try the code and see if it will generate these labels for me. Now run the code and I'll go to Explorer. You will find an output .dxf file is created. And when you open that, you can see now there is a label of the area and parameter. But the style of the label is a bit, you know, strange. The text is so large. So I want to modify the style a bit or the height of the text. If you are not sure where to modify that in the code, uh, we can always go back to chat GPT. I did like, please, I want to be able to modify or text height, enter, and it understands that, you know, uh, it's related to the previous chat. So in the new response now the code has a variable called text height equal 10 also i said i want to make the parameter shown underneath the area um, or the parameter text um, and it modified the code a little bit to show them you know in two different lines now i paste the new code now i just redefined the input and output of the files and then the text high as 2.5 run the code look at the output file and see how the text would look like it's still very big but it's in two lines as you can see now I modified it from 2.5 to 1 or 0.5 then run the code and then again let's open the output to dxf you can see now the text is smaller uh, and it is located in the centroid probably i could increase it to one uh, run uh, the code again and see the output dxf file um, and you can see now the text appears to be all right i remember 
working on a bit complex project where this script cut down my labeling time by 90%. It was for labeling the areas and it was not just to get the material quantities, it was useful because the labels provided easier way for documentation, check and review of my work by my colleagues. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share it with your colleagues. Before I end, I have a couple of questions for you. Have you ever tried automating tasks in AutoCAD? Have you ever faced challenges with manual labeling in AutoCAD? Let me know in the comments. Thank you.